Welcome back to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper. Now time for our sports lead. Is the NFL putting the squeeze on ESPN? The sports channel has pulled out of a planned documentary it was working on with the PBS program Frontline, which will investigate head injuries in pro football. League of Denial comes out in October, but Frontline released a preview of the special earlier this month. These players come down with dementia and then Alzheimer's and then they're gone. Frontline investigates what the NFL knew and when they knew it. You can't go against the NFL. They'll squash you. You can't go against the NFL. They'll squash you. According to reporting from James Andrew Miller and the New York Times, ex executives from the NFL, the NFL Network, and ESPN met last week, and the NFL expressed their displeasure with the documentary. And then, poof, last night PBS announced that ESPN was pulling out, writing that, quote, ESPN released their own statement that said, uh, that said, because ESPN is neither producing nor exercising editorial control over the frontline documentaries, there will be no co-branding involving ESPN on the documentaries or their marketing materials. The use of ESPN's marks could incorrectly imply that we have editorial control. As we have in the past, we will continue to cover the concussion story through our own reporting. An NFL spokesman tells CNN that, quote, it's not true that we pressured ESPN to pull out of the film. The lunch was requested several weeks ago by ESPN. We met with our business partners. We meet with our business partners, rather, on a regular basis, and this was not unusual. Let's bring in James Andrew Miller. He's the author of Those Guys Have All the Fun Inside the World of ESPN, and he is the author of this story in the New York Times. So, first of all, Jim, I have to say, the idea that ESPN would cooperate with Frontline on a, on a documentary about the NFL and head injuries it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me because ESPN relies upon the NFL for everything. Of course, the NFL is going to squash them. Well, I think that's true. Starting in 1987, ESPN began to construct a serious journalistic enterprise. And one wonders why 15 months ago they decided that they needed Frontline. The statement they released yesterday actually sounds like a statement that they could have released 15 months ago explaining why they didn't decide to get in business with Frontline. This whole idea about who would have ultimate control and co-branding, I think ESPN created a big problem for itself 15 months ago when they decided to do this. Are there indications that this Frontline documentary is going to be tougher than the reporting that ESPN has done on the whole injury of head injuries in the NFL? It seems that one of the key value propositions to this documentary is to create a narrative, to, which is to take a lot of the reporting that's been done by many news organizations over the years and put it together in a very compelling picture. I'm not sure, I haven't seen the documentary. I'm not sure what is actually new. I know there is some new material, but when you take all these disparate elements and you put it together in a powerful narrative, I think that has much more impact. And certainly now, given what's happened over the past 24, 48 hours, a lot more eyeballs are gonna be watching it as a result. One of the spokesmen of the NFL Players Association told this to Deadspin, let me read this, quote, given the media landscape we're in, player access is as valuable as access to the games. We will have to make a longer term decision if we don't feel like our broadcast partners are willing to tell the truth. So that's the Players Association. They obviously, I would think, want there to be attention to the well-being of their players. Could ESPN lose access to players because they backed out of this documentary? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, ESPN at this point is, you know, oxygen for the players and for the league. It's very, very important. It's a worldwide brand, Eight, over 8,000 hours a, a year, and a lot of that devoted to the NFL. Uh, that, that would surprise me. James Andrew Miller, great reporting. Thanks for coming on.